in the studio with us now from Eastern Illinois Baseball, the head coach, Jason Anderson, and one of the top players on the team, Ryan Ignafo. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And, you know, it's an exciting time for Eastern Illinois Baseball because Friday you're going down to Nashville, Tennessee, going to take on Vanderbilt, one of the top teams in the country, in the NCAA tournament. What does that mean to Eastern Illinois University? It doesn't get any better with what we're doing right now. Uh, the uh, the season that we put together and, and the adversities we've overcome to go down to, to uh, Nashville Friday night game, national TV, playing one of the best teams in the country. I think we're all pretty fired up about it. Yeah, and uh, as a as a player, that's just something that you always talk about. You know, growing up and. You know, going to play Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt's the baseball school of the country almost, and to do it on national TV and coming here as a, as a freshman, always talking about being in a conference tournament and winning it and not going to a regional, it's kind of just so real. Let's talk a little bit about the OVC tournament, which you won last week. You had to come all the way from day one to be able to get to that championship game. And what was the process that you had to go through to get there? Yeah, we, we took the long road through that thing. Um, we, there was 10 games in the tournament, and we were out there for six of them. And uh, the first day was the big one. We had to two, win two games in a row against the team's best pitchers. Uh, first game was at 9 a.m., which is unusual for a college baseball game. And so we had batting practice at 7 a.m., um, waking everybody up in the stadium. And so um, it, it was it – was, it is extremely difficult to get through it, but our guys played great. The pitching and defense was tremendous, and um, just super proud of all those guys out there. All right, so you're against Moorhead, and you know, scores five five. What's like? What's the thought process going? Like the pressure? What do you think? And what is that? What does that look like on the field for you guys? Oh well, for me, my stomach kind of sank <laughs> uh, watching a, a slider go over left field wall and tie the game when you're ahead five zero in the first inning. Kind of, kind of hits you. And um, we just knew we had to, you know, keep battling and, you know, Kai had to keep throwing strikes and our bullpen did a tremendous job. And we knew we were going to need to score more to beat them. And uh, it didn't really happen until, you know, the seventh inning, I believe. And we knew that they were going to battle back and we just had to just stick with, the uh, stick with the plan and, you know, just continue doing what we're doing. Let's talk about that game-winning run and how, how it happened in that seventh inning. Yeah, I don't – was it a – Jared Evans double. Oh, right Jared center. Evans yep. double who, um, you know, was playing for a guy that uh, got injured in the game before. And so he stepped up and he got a couple big hits that game. But uh, he gets on. We move a guy over and a chopper into the ground on turf, you know, gets us to go ahead run. And then uh, we got a guy in the bullpen named Zane Robbins that uh, when he runs out there, we all feel pretty good about what's going to happen right. at the end of the game. Okay, last play was a fly ball to right field. What were you thinking? Uh, I didn't. I didn't know what to do. Uh, if you watch the video back, you just see me jumping at first base, and uh, running over and hugging Colton Portman, who was running towards me from the dugout. Um, I told myself I wasn't going to dogpile just to, you know, try to avoid getting hurt, but you know, I, I couldn't resist it. I had to jump in there. And what does this mean to Eastern Illinois University, Coach? Well, I just I think we've been overlooked for so long. I mean, this for me, I've been here for 11 years. Um, you know, when I, when I started, this was a 13-win program. And so it's been a long road. It's been a huge commitment, a lot of sacrifice. And so to just see us getting to the point where we're starting to get some serious recognition. And we've had high draft picks, um, first, fifth, sixth rounders. We've set records for wins. We're winning championships. Um, academically, these guys have won academic awards. Um, overall, as a program, there's nothing I can't throw at these guys to try to accomplish. And so um, that, to me, is, is pretty special. And what does it mean to, to be one of the few programs to send both their baseball and softball teams to the NCAA tournament? Yeah, well, softball, I, I think we were all, you know, I, I didn't realize it was the first time in history that they had won that thing. Mm -hmm. And um, so for them to accomplish that, I think everybody was super fired up about that. And so... Uh, we just followed their lead and was like, man, if they're going to do it, we want to go do that same thing, and um, here we are. Almost like a competition between you guys? I think it's more like partnership. Okay. Um, my office is right next to each other. Um, very, I mean, every, all the sporty, all the coaches are really supportive of each other, and so uh, I wouldn't look at it as competition. It's, you know, how do we help each other to get this stuff done? Okay. 
And yesterday it was announced that Ryan is a finalist for the John Ullerud Two-Way Player of the Year Award, one of five finalists. And what does that mean to you? Uh, I don't think I can put it in the words. It's just unbelievable. Um, it's just a player I knew I, I could always be, and to, to finally be up there and getting recognized or something like that, it's just unbelievable. And, you know, in the games that I was able to broadcast, it seemed like wherever coach put you, you would play. It didn't matter where it was. Yeah. Whether it's the outfield, first base, designated hitter, relief pitcher, mm -hmm. whatever you ne needed to do, or whatever coach needed you to do, you did. Yeah, I'm just I'm just a guy who likes to play baseball, and it doesn't matter where you put me. I'm I'm gonna play well and play at the highest level. And if that's what you need me to do, is to DH on a Tuesday and play a third on a Wednesday, um, that's what I'll do. Yeah, yeah, and I'll say with Ryan, you know, we're gonna go down. We're gonna face some some pretty big time programs. So. You know, we might not have the most talent on the field as a team compared to these guys, but in my mind, we're going to have the best player out there. And something, too, that you can actually focus on is that you've already beat a ranked team this year. Yeah, uh, we've and we've done that over the last couple of years. We went and we played some Kansas State. Um, we played Big Ten schools. Um, Arkansas is pretty consistent on our schedule, and so – we went down there, and, and we only won one out of three, but we competed really well, and we were in all the games. And so, you know, the game that we won might have been the best baseball game I've seen played here. And, um, you know, we were on the verge. We were one hit away from 10 run rule in a team that's top three in the country. And so um, that really, I think, showed us that we had the potential to do really anything on the baseball field. All right, so you have this big game against Vanderbilt in a few days. What's the what's the game plan? How are you guys getting prepared? What should we expect to see from y'all? Uh, take it one pitch at a time. Um, we got a bunch of young guys and some guys who haven't been in the game quite as, as big as this. And, you know, you just got to take it one pitch at a time and slow the game down as much as possible because when you have that many fans and you're on national TV, um, baseball is a game that can easily speed up on you and, and you can make mental errors. You know, we talked about this with Coach Archibald, and I'm sure this is the same with the baseball team. You're not only recruiting good players, but you're also recruiting good people. Yeah, that's the, what the whole program is built on, is just bringing in good people that, that are passionate about baseball, that enjoy the, the grind and the work and enjoy going to class. Um, and so that's, that's been the, the whole thing from top to bottom, uh, from the players to the coaches. Um, just trying to really uh, have a culture of trust in everybody because it's, this is a tough game. There's a lot of failure. There's ups and downs throughout the season. Um, guys struggle with the things on and off the field. And so if we're all with each other through all these type of things, then you have a chance on the field to win some ball games. Leaving this afternoon, I'm taking it there's probably going to be a practice tomorrow at Vanderbilt. Yeah, a little quick workouts. They give you about an hour and 15 minutes on the field, uh, test the bats and, and get, get acclimated to everything. But, um, um, you know, I've been down there a couple different times. We've played them twice, you know, in my time here. And so, so I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, I, I, to me, I don't sense any nerves whatsoever. There's an excitement that we wanted the, the biggest, you know, fish we could take on uh, when they were drawing the names the other day. So we feel like we got a good one. And Ryan, what does it mean to you to be able to go to the NCAA tournament, not only with your teammates, but your friends? Um, it's, it's huge. You know, um, just being around a bunch of guys every year, uh, year in and year out, and, you know, just talking about our goals and trying to get to something like this and to finally actually have it happen is just something I'm going to cherish forever. And I know when we go out there on Friday, we're going to do everything in our power to beat them and uh, continue and hopefully get to a super regional. All right, what makes you super passionate about playing for EIU? Like what's what's the big thing that keeps you motivated? Uh, for me, I think just the family aspect. Um, when you come here, you're gonna be wanted and everyone's gonna play for each other. Um, baseball is an, an easy game to get caught up in yourself and I'm, I'm a, a proponent of that too. I've gotten caught up in stats and whatnot. But uh, when you're on the field, nothing else matters other than getting a win. And everyone just loves each other. So it's just a, a great feeling. And I don't think people really realize this, but uh, athletic teams, you spend a lot of time with each other as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, every minute of the day, whether it's on the field or off the field, I'm around at least four or five guys. 
and uh, we're always just doing something. Okay, this Friday, 7 o'clock, down in Nashville, Tennessee, Eastern Illinois, taking on Vanderbilt in the NCAA tournament. That just sounds so good. It kind of gives me chills to say that. You, you, we're, I, I'm, I'm ready to play it today. So, <laughs> um, you know, we're going to grind out these last few days, but uh, it's exciting time. Hopefully we see a lot of blue in the stands down there and go get the job done. Coach Jason Anderson and Ryan Ignafo, thanks for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.